OpenArt just became the best platform for AI videos and images. If you think I'm lying, take a look at this. We all know how ChatGPT4O's image generator took the internet by storm. Well, on OpenArt, you can do the exact same thing with their chat to edit feature. But this is low key better because you can send the edited image to their video generator where you can access a lot, if not all, of the popular AI video generators like Pixverse, VO2, and the latest Kling 2.0. But you see, it gets better you can now combine two or more images into the same video with their elements feature. But wait, it gets way better. You can make your AI influencers talk realistically with their lip sync feature. Hey, I'm Andrew Tate, and you should buy my course and subscribe. On the images aspect, they've got literally every image gen model you can think of. And if you want consistent characters, you can literally do that with one image of your AI girl. Now, if you want my free document on how to make money with AI influencers and AI in general, first of all, subscribe, then like the video and comment, I want the free document. Once my AI bot sees that you've done all three of these, it will send it to you. Now, when I call this the best AI platform, I mean, it's only my opinion. Before the keyboard warriors attack me in the comments, you're entitled to your opinion. I've personally got over 70K credits on this site with the infinity plan because this is the only AI tool I use literally every day because it legit makes me money. And this tutorial will show why I feel it's the best for me. Feel free to think otherwise. Let's get started. Okay, so now in my opinion, I think that OpenArt just became the best AI platform to use right now, and I'm not even joking about the different internal features with their latest updates. So simply either you Google search it or you click the link in the description and it should take you to this place. Now, as you can see, one of the first things you notice is um, it's meant for image generation and storytelling, where you can create or edit images, or you can get consistent characters and create videos with a ton of AI video models. I'm talking literally every single popular AI video model there is, which I'm going to show. But you see, it gets better now. We all know how GPT-40 took over the internet. Well, guess what? They have it here and it's much better. And you can also decide to choose a style that you want, train the model, ultimate upscale or image to prompt. And there are a whole lot of other features. You can go here to the app section. And as you can see, there are AI filters, there's sketch to image, there's image blender, there's AI sticker generator and general tools. But without further ado, let me show you how each of them work. And by the way, if you are also a comfy UI expert and you want to get workflows, there is also a comfy UI workflow. As you can see, they have a ton of comfy UI workflows. As you can see, there is a whole load that you can use. And they've also got tons and tons of tutorials for those who want to get started. Now let's first of all test out the GPT-40 character lab that is here. So basically, for those who don't know, you can literally edit all your images with this, and this is how it works. So we just upload an image. So here, I've got this image of Andrew Tate. Now we can edit this simply by telling it what we want. So let's make him wear glasses. And then all you need to do is send the message. Now don't worry, they do give free credits to test out some of these features. Although the video models are in the paid plan, they only give about um, 50 credits to test out but it's more than enough to really know how good the tool is. And as you can see, in literal seconds, it's done, and he's now wearing sunglasses. Now let's make this even better by trying out other things. As you can see, no need for Photoshop. I think Photoshop is basically dead. With this tool, just click here on new image. Now you can upload the character. Now for those who don't know, you can generate easy consistent characters from literally just one image here. Now let me show you how that works. All you simply need to do is go here to character, or rather let us fully test out the chat feature before I show you how to generate consistent character videos. So I'm simply uploading a new image. So right here, I've gotten this image here, and from here we can turn it into as many styles as we want. As you can see, we've got this style, we've got action figure style, we've got photo style, we've got Sesame Street style, we've got Snoopy style, we've got pixel art style, and a ton of others. Let us try, um, the family guy style. Let's see how it does with it. Now I want you to take a look at this wonderful job that it did for us. This is what we uploaded, and this is what it produced in the family guy style. This is so perfect in my opinion. And remember, if you use ChatGPT sometimes, it limits you to about two images per day. But with this tool, you can use it as much as you can as long as you get the credits. And don't forget that OpenArt has a whole lot of other features, which I'm gonna show you now. I'll just try these other styles to show you how versatile it is in general. 
So here, in just roughly about a minute, it's done. And this is the Ghibli styled image. And this is so perfect. If you want to download it, you can easily click here on download. You can choose the format that you want, or you can go ahead and even upscale it. You remember when I said that open art is basically everything you can do with AI, and I'm not joking. As you can see, it's already done upscaling it 2x. Now in case you do not want to keep on them uploading the same image, all you just need to do is simply go back to the normal one that you uploaded. As you can see, it says uploaded by you, then once you've clicked on it, then all you just need to do is tell it the style, or tell it what to do, and then click on send message, or press enter. That way you don't need to continue uploading the same image over and over again. Now as you can see here, we told it to wear a black jacket, and he's now wearing it so perfectly, and we can just change the character a little bit. So let's turn into Pixar style. So as you can see, it's done, and it's so perfect. Now one thing that I also like about this, is that other than you being able to edit it, you can change the image into a video. Now actually, if you go to chat edit, you can choose the GPT model that you want to use. Now if you're in the free plan, obviously you might want to use the Gemini, but you can decide to use GPT high for the best results, or you can choose medium, choose whichever works for you. But now let me show you what I mean by this tool, is the overall goat of AI. Just click on image to video. So here, this is everything I've made. So as you can see, I've uploaded the image and it gets way, way better. Now, if you go to video model, I want you to take a look at the large library of AI video models that they have. You can choose one 2.1. You can decide to choose PixFirst or even the latest one, which is Clean 2.0 with high prompt adherence and outstanding aesthetics. It doesn't just stop there. There's also Veo 2. There's also the option for auto sound. Now obviously, this isn't the best scenario to use it. I'll show you when and how to use it properly. Now to fully test how good Clean 2.0 is, we leave it without any prompts and click on create. Or you can set your creativity level to this and click on create. Now obviously, the credit that they give may not allow you to do this, but this tutorial should be enough to show you how goaded this tool is. Like literally every single thing you can do with AI, you can do it here on this platform, and it's done now. For those who don't know why I normally don't input any prompt at first, it's to really see how the AI video model understands the image. Now let's check it out. As you can see, it added that slow sit back animation, which it understood from the image, and it got it spot on. And this is perfect from Kling 2.0. Now let's just try the 1.6 to see how much better it is. Now you can choose the quality mode. We just used Pro, and just click on Create to really see the difference between the both of them, which is 2.0 and 1.6. Okay, so now the Kling 1.6 is done, and as you can see, it's quite different in the sense that he's talking. But yeah, both of them are good, without any weird morphing. Okay, so, it gets a whole lot better now. For those who don't know, there's a trend going on on TikTok, whereby people use different images to fuse into one, and turn it into a video. So how they do that, is we'll set this as a start frame, and set another picture as the end frame, and you'll see this cool morphing video that we will have. So here at the end frame, I just use the original picture, and for the prompt we'll give it something like. Now of course, this is only available in Kling 1.6, so we just leave it at this, then creativity level 0.7, then click on create, and you'll see how it does. So now we're done, and look at this cool animation, it's done for us. If you've been on social media, you would know that this style has been trending, whereby they use the start frame and end frame features. Of course we could have about 10 seconds. Yeah, so now let me show another cool feature, because trust me, it gets better. Okay, so now I've got this picture here, and as you can see, turn on the auto sound button, and simply describe the sound that we want. Remember this, up until now, you could only do this with multiple AI platforms, but everything you want runs on open art. Just simply type it in. You can increase the creativity level if you want. Then you can click on generate. So this is the result that we got.
as you can see, it did a very good job. Remember all in the same platform, nothing complex, just simply prompts. But as you will see, it gets better. Now for the auto speech. Now what you need to do is simply upload a video or you can choose from your history. So I will just choose this one. So here, I've got this one. Then all you need to do is type in what you want. Then select the particular voice that you want. So I just select this, then simply click on generate. And let's see, and also don't forget to click on lip sync. That way it matches the speech and click on create. So this is the result. A course and subscribe. Hey, I'm Andrew Tate and you should buy my course and subscribe. Hey, I'm Andrew Tate, and you should buy my- As you can see, it did a wonderful work. And another feature that I like about this is the element feature, whereby you can drag up four images and combine them to one. So here, I've got this, the chocolate and the table. So just put a prompt like this. Then you set the amount of seconds. And of course, then you choose the pro model, then click on create. Okay, so now it's done, and just look at what it cooked. It blended in the table and the chocolate so perfectly. And this is also for video ads and AI influencers as well. This is perfect. Now for you to create consistent characters, all you simply need to do is go here to model. As you can see, we've got a ton of models. Just simply go to my characters. These are currently the characters that I've generated. Click on create character. Then as you can see, we can either start with four images, which is similar to Laura training. You can set the description, or you can start with a single image, and you should get consistent characters, like these. So for this one, I can just click on create, and choose prompt in reference. I will prompt it like this. Then you can tweak the width, or leave it like this, and increase images to three, and click on create, and you will see how much it would resemble a Laura. So now it's done, and as you can see, all of them are consistent. Not only are they consistent, but it's super super realistic. Just take a look, look at all of them, they've maintained consistency, and you can also convert it to video. So yeah, that's it for this video, like and subscribe for more AI videos like this.